Rocio here. Welcome back to my canal. I'm also known as Queen Ro. I know what some of you might say. I know what some of you might comment. I know what some of you might think. But I definitely want to take you on this journey. And today is February 11th of 2023. And I just had a consultation two days ago for bariatric surgery i'm going to share every single time i go to an appointment i'm going to upload a video because i have done so much research and it's so difficult to come across someone on youtube that actually goes through step by step by step of this surgery a lot of people do uh, videos after the fact a lot of people do videos during the surgery but i might have come across maybe one or two videos where people did share before they had surgery and then when they have surgery and then after like i would say three months or six months post-op or a month post-op but i am going to take you on my journey i'm going to vlog i'm going to update you guys as to how everything is going because this is something that i wish i would find on youtube so first things first, right? Why is she doing bariatric surgery? The only reason and the main reason why people are doing bariatric surgery. The surgery that I chose is gastric sleeve, laparoscopic gastric sleeve. That is when essentially they take about 70 to 80% of your stomach. In that side of their stomach, I'm going to put a picture, a diagram right here. That side of the stomach that they take out, they remove also is where the hormones live of when you get hungry again why are you doing bariatric surgery i am considered morbidly obese so if you guys know me personally there was one time in my life for maybe i would say three or four years where i was super thin insert picture here i was modeling i was trying to work in the entertainment industry i wanted to be a host and and i wanted to work on tv one of the platforms that um, I wanted to use to get there was beauty pageants. So I was competing in beauty pageants and although it was such a beautiful experience, there was a lot of dietary restrictions that I had to do. So I lost a lot of weight unnaturally. I first, when I first started, I was 18, actually 17 turning 18. I got a personal trainer and um, a nutritionist. They both helped me to lose 50 pounds. And I won my first pageant during that transition. I, I lost the 50 pounds and I, I won my first pageant. That was here in Prey Fanboy, uh, where I do live, where I'm from. I was Miss Dominican Republic Prey Fanboy. If I find pictures of that, I'm going to insert here. I don't even know if I would. I, I was 18 at the time. My family is, is not genetically small or thin or, or their metabolism is not fast. So the, my eating habits, I realized, weren't the best. So after that, I wanted to compete in another pageant in which I had to lose even more weight. So that's what I did. I got, you know, and I competed in another pageant. I lost weight. I didn't win. I came in second place. I was, you know, even more like focused on training and working hard and losing weight. Did that. Lost, you know, maybe like 20 more pounds or so. Uh, I won second place. Then they, I don't know what happened, but the crown of the winner got, I don't know, they took it away from her. And then they gave me the crown. That was Nuestra Belleza Hispana 2009. It was another beauty pageant that was able to take me to Bolivia and compete over there against girls and countries that had that year lost in the Miss Universe pageant. So that's what I did. I represented USA. Before that, I went to Colombia and I competed in Colombia and I got second place out there. In Colombia, I competed against other uh, girls as well, other countries as well, other Latina countries. I got second place. The girl that won first place was the Colombian girl. Came back from that. I had breast augmentation done. And then two months after, I was super, super thin. I think this is like the thinnest I have ever been in my entire life. I was size four and I was 125 pounds. Insert picture here. Super, super thin until like my bones and everything, my bone structure, everything. But that was so unhealthy. Why? Because the diet 
restriction that I had for that. Basically, I'm just gonna go over with you what I could eat, not even what I could not eat. This was my meals. So soup, no noodles, pineapple, jello, water, of course. I even did the Beyonce diet, which is cayenne pepper, lemon, and like maple syrup or something and water. Uh, lettuce and tuna. That was it. I couldn't eat anything else. I don't encourage you to do that because I was so low energy. But at the same time, I was doing something that I enjoyed. So that was at the back of my mind, right? Okay, so that pageant happened in Bolivia. This was back in 2010 when a TV show that I really wanted to audition because that was going to get me to possibly work in television. That was on the Spanish network, Univision. So I had recently fresh come out of uh, that pageant in Bolivia um, against girls that competed in Miss Universe. So I come out and I go audition for this show. I make it on the show. I make it on the Univision show. It was a reality show, reality show pageant type of thing. But the winner um, got a contract to work with the network. Even if you weren't working with the network, even if you made it into the actual reality show, it was a great opportunity. So I was still skinny. I auditioned for the show. And the first thing that I'm told by one of my idols, which is the coach and what well, was the coach and the owner of the Miss Venezuela pageant, was that I had to lose weight. La favoreció muchísimo. Mucho. Pero sí necesitas rebajar. Claro. Y tienes que hacerlo. Lo voy a porque hacer. Porque si no, no va a pasar nada. Lo okay? voy a hacer. <laughs> And the owner of Miss Mexico, she was also a judge. She told me, you have to keep taking care of your weight and your nutrition. Te recomiendo que sigas trabajando con el ejercicio, con tu alimentación. Por mí, tienes mi voto. Gracias. So here I am, really thin, the thinnest I've ever been and the, and the most healthy, I think, in terms of like the aesthetic purpose of it. Not healthy internally, I guess, because I was not eating healthy. That's not healthy. Like, you can't survive on pineapple and water and, like, uh, tuna and things like that. They gave us a month to get ready before the actual show started. So, I got ready. Again, the Beyonce diet. No carbs. Pineapple. Jello. Water. Tuna. Lettuce. That's it. So, the day the pageant comes in and the personal trainer takes my weight and everything at the show, well, the reality show, not the pageant, the pageant reality show, and he tells me, you lost a lot of weight. You lost like 10 pounds, 10, 50 pounds. But it looks like you lost, you lost muscle as well. So what were you doing? You weren't training. What were you doing? I was like, listen, I had to lose weight. So anyway, I, I digress. The fact of the matter was that I didn't make it on the show. I come back out of the show and I start to eat normal. I got into a mini depression because that really shocked me. Like that that was really, really hard for me. I was 20, 22 years old, 21 years old. Um, anything affected my mood, right? Apart from the fact that I had this big dream of being on this show and it didn't happen and oh my God. So I started eating, emotional eating. And slowly but surely, I started to gain weight. Slowly but surely, I started to gain weight. And little by little, I put on 5 pounds, 10 pounds, 15 pounds. And I was always struggling. I was always going to the gym and I was always trying to work out. And then I go up to a size like 8 or 10. I went from a size 4 when I was unhealthy. I went up and then I go to a size 8 or 10. At this point... In the back of my head, I already have issues with my body. I already have body image issues. People are telling me, oh my God, you're, you, you're gaining weight. Oh my God, you're, you're getting fat. I start to diet again, crash diet. Those diets that are not healthy because I knew how to lose weight unhealthy. I did it again. I started to lose weight. Boom. It's like 2005 or 2006 or something. And again, I start going to the gym now. And again, I lose a lot of weight. But with this time, I'm going to the gym a lot. I'm still in my head, in my head, I still think I'm big. I still think I'm overweight. And at that point, I was not looking back 
at that at those photos i'm gonna insert those photos here i was not but it's it, it was in my head so then i get into a relationship and i start going out and i start drinking i start eating i go to college i start classes i start working actual in the real world and i forget about modeling i forget about all of that and then i really gain weight that's when that's when i noticed like i can't like it's i can't control it it's an issue it's a problem it's a freaking problem now because the only way that i know how to lose weight is unhealthy is crash dieting and i always think i'm too big hence now fast forward to now i'm 34 years old and i am 5'6 and although you can't really tell in my body when i was 200 because i'm past 200 200 pounds right now when i was 200 pounds you couldn't really tell that i was 200 pounds because i guess in my body i distribute it very well it's not like in, in like in one section or the other but slowly but surely i don't fit into any of my pants i go up to a size 12 i start getting sluggish i start getting tired i go to the gym again but this time i don't lose weight as quickly i start dieting but i don't lose weight as quickly um my skin is tight i'm not jiggly i sell products that help with um cellulite and all that stuff they help tremendously but then again my family history they have diabetes they have high blood pressure they have hypothyroidism hypothyroidism excuse me so i got pregnant last year and i was you know slowly but surely losing weight i had lost already 16 pounds within like three months of working out consistently and eating healthy and not crash dieting and all that stuff then i get pregnant luckily throughout my pregnancy at the beginning i don't gain a lot of weight i gained like five pounds here 10 pounds then 15 pounds when i was like seven months or so then eight months come in i'm eight months pregnant and i go up to 30 pounds so right now right now i'm at the weight that i was when i was my heaviest in my pregnancy this is the heaviest i've ever been and it's getting to the point where I'm just like, okay, I, I need to do something. I need to do something permanently. Something that has worked for other people, that has worked for people for people in my family. And that disclaimer, I'm not a health care professional. I'm not telling you to do it. Right now I'm 5'6 and I weigh 252 pounds. You can't really like tell that I weigh that much, but I do. I do. And that's considered morbidly obese so with that being said um later on i'm going to show you guys before and after pictures and all of that i don't want to show you guys exactly what i look like right now with like my bra or whatever with the bikini or whatever we're not gonna we're not gonna go into that right now right now this is how much i weigh okay when i gave birth i lost 20 pounds right after i gave birth i weighed myself um i would say two weeks after i gave birth and I was 220, 220 something, something like that. I'm 252. I just had my first evaluation with the surgeon. They gave me a folder with all the things that I need. First things first is make sure that if you're not paying out of pocket, I'm not paying out of pocket, my insurance covers it because of my weight. There are a couple steps when you do it through the insurance that you have to take in order for them to actually cover the, the procedure. I basically need lab work done. I already qualify because of my weight. So you have to be um, BMI of, you have to be a BMI of 40, which I am right now. So if you have medical conditions like diabetes, prediabetes, um, cholesterol, high blood pressure, anything like that, sleep apnea, they'll cover you, I believe, but check with your insurance, don't quote me, from 35 BMI to on. So here are the things. I need lab work done. I already got my body composition analysis done metabolic rate test i don't know what that is but i think it's how fast you burn calories nutrition evaluation so next week i go in for my nutrition evaluation my first initial which is when the nutritionist is going to put me on a diet specifically catered to to me 
So I also did mention to them that I do have sleep apnea. So they're going to send me a machine that I have to sleep with. Well, we're going to do a sleep test with the machine and then I have to ship the machine back and they'll evaluate if I actually have sleep apnea or not because that's also something that um, helps with that. Uh, psychological evaluation. I have to get cardiac clearance. It's a medical clearance right before surgery, about 30 days before surgery. A pre-op class, a letter from my doctor as well. So I have all the lists here. I have all the paperwork, all the scripts and everything in here, step by step as to what I have to do because this is out of control. My weight is out of control. I don't know how I've gained so much weight after giving birth because I literally have like two meals a day. Maybe that'll answer the question because I don't eat enough. Um, my appetite is crap. Everything after pregnancy is just different for me now. I, I My appetite and everything, like even tasting things uh, are not the same. But I'm trying. I'm trying to eat vegetables. I'm trying to eat clean and stay away from sugars. I'm not um, drinking soda. I'm not, I don't, I'm not a, like a soda drinker. I don't eat unhealthy like that. I'm not going to go and grab a slice of pizza every day. I don't eat hamburgers. So I don't know like why I've been gaining so much weight like I have. And I'm scared. So in order for me to not be scared anymore, this is what I decided. I'm going to do, I qualify for the insurance already. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do it. There's so many people that have done it and have great, um, a great experience with it. So yeah, that's what I, that's what I chose. If you guys have any questions as to what you want me to go over or what you want to see down the road, because I'm going to continue to update you guys on how my journey is with this. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my social media pages as well. Follow me on my Instagram, on my TikTok. They're all Queen Row, Queen Row 7. Look for me on Facebook if you want to. I have two Facebooks because Facebook only limits you to 5,000 friends. Uh, and that's uh, weird. If you watch all the way to the end, thank you so much for uh, watching and, and hearing me. Let me know how you want me to record also. Do you want me to record at the doctor's office? Do you guys want to see me going to the doctor's office? Do you guys want me to record in a hospital setting when the surgery is all God willing? I'm definitely going to show you my nutrition plan. But yeah, let me know and uh, stick around because there is so much more about this VSG, bariatric uh, surgery that I, that I want to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching Remember. as always, but love, not hate. Love you guys.